that crashed into the St. Johns River is on the move to a new location in Green Cove Springs. We brought it to you live when a barge floated the aircraft right under the Buckman Bridge about two hours ago. Action News was there when that plane arrived in Green Cove Springs. Welcome to Action News Jacks at noon. I'm Don Mopad. And I'm Phil Amato. Action News Jacks Ryan Nelson is live in Green Cove Springs right now. And Ryan, this move will help the NTSB as it investigates the crash. And Phil, it truly is an unbelievable sight to see the 737 floating on a barge on the St. John's River. I can actually see it from this vantage point, and I'll do our best to uh, see if we can show it to you as well here. If we can zoom in, you can actually see the 737 floating on a barge right now as it comes into Clay County, and we've been tracking it every step of the way. And Sky Action News Jacks flew overhead Miami Air, Miami Air Flight 293 as it was towed under the Buckman Bridge on its way to Clay County on a barge. Investigators say it will be stored in a secure and covered area where they can take a closer look at the plane there. And we've also been tracking the plane's journey south uh, all morning. Uh, it's now just minutes out from arriving at the Clay County Port. The NTSB is trying to piece together what went wrong with the landing. And we know the pilots asked air traffic control to land on runway 10, even though they were advised the runway was shortened. Now, investigators say the cockpit voice recorder should be able to offer insight into why the decision was made. It has been recovered after spending days in underwater in the St. John's River. Of course, we're getting a look at the 737 coming into Clay County right now. We'll bring you live updates here online and, of course, on the Action News Jacks mobile app. Reporting in Clay County, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jax.